Where are you, Nagoi? Where are you? Where could you be? <gasps> oh, there you are. Okay, come on over. It's time for reading. Alrighty, hopefully you listened to a video with Mrs. Ballard about this brand new digraph that we're learning about, which is called the WR digraph. Now, we don't say WR, because that's a bit weird. But what we do say is, get your fingers ready, er. So we make the er sound, just like we do with rabbit reading, er, er, er. So we do the exact same thing. We really kind of have to ignore the W because it's working together with the R to make that sound. Alrighty, now, if you see Mrs. Ballard, could you please tell her off? How rude, she said I was wrinkly. Oh, I didn't mean it, Mrs. Mack. But then you did say you were wrong, Mrs. Ballard, <laughs> and I was happy about that. So I thought wrinkly or wrinkled, I think I could write that up here. That might be our first word. And I might draw Mrs. Ballard being very wrinkly. Well, you could, but, you could put yeah. some across my forehead. I've so, got a lot more up there. in old. Now we need to draw someone wrinkled, the chin, and let's have a look. Ooh, She's have got a look on my forehead. There's yeah. quite a few there. Just getting the hair right. Oh, Mrs. the Ballard. hair's got to be wild. Wild, wild Ballard hair, and some eyes, big smile, but wait for the wrinkles. Oh, wrinkly Mrs. Ballard. <laughs> okay, we need another word now. Have a think. What else did you see on that little video? Can you remember another one? Hmm, I remember one and it made me think of a ship that might have sunk down to the bottom of the ocean. A ship wreck. Let's get the word wreck on there. Now this is a great one for stretching out. So we've got our WR making the R sound. Then we've got an E making the E. Now because the K is at the end, it's a digraph that we have learned about. It's the CK digraph. So we've got two digraphs in this word. A wreck. Now I might just draw maybe a bit of an ocean. We could draw Mrs S. She's a bit of a wreck. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Mrs Ballard. You're a little bit. You've got an acid tongue today. Oh, I do. And oh, this, and it's maybe I actually need to make it kind of a bit falling down into the in a few oh. holes oh yeah there we go some holes there's water coming out oh it's sinking and there's even a little person jumping off ah! going down all right that will end up being a sh it wreck Alrighty, now we need to keep on thinking what were some other words in that video <gasps> Actually, I think that I know one. It's one of my favourite lunches. Would you like to eat a wrap? I love eating wraps. So sometimes I like to put chicken and lettuce and avocado in there and wrap it up. That's a favourite wrap of mine. So I can add that one in. And do you know what, perhaps you could sound this one out because this is totally easy. We're going to start with this sound here, this grapheme. W-R. Now, r so we need the A for A and the P. And then I'm going to draw a lovely sandwich wrap. You might like to have Vegemite and cheese in your wrap, or you might like to have a bit of a chicken wrap like me, and then poke out a little bit of lettuce on the end. Oh, that looks tasty. Oh yes, absolutely yummy, full of protein, ready for your day, Mrs. Ballard. You oh, should try it. I should, that'll get me going. <laughs> Now I need to keep thinking of some more words. And as I'm up here working, I am using my hands. And those beautiful wrists. <gasps> I'm going to do a, oh, what a lovely wrist. That's a wrist right there. Now I'm going to draw a wrist. So I might start with my hand, draw a little finger going up. And a nice big arrow pointing to this part, this bone here, which is called the wrist. Now we need to use that digraph to write it. Can you help me stretch it out? R -i -s -t. Wrist. I might even put a bracelet on there. Jazz up my wrist. Okay. 
thinking, thinking, thinking. What else could we do? <gasps> Have you ever seen a tiny little bird? A little fairy wren? They're very cute. We've got They're my favourites. That live near us and they very tiny and they have a very long tail like this little fairy wrens and... oh that's a beautiful <gasps> wren did you just fill my bucket I, mrs bell well, i'm just that's so wow. beautiful and you know what some of the fairy wrens i don't know if it's the males or the I females. I think it's the males that are blue in those blue wrens. And they are so bright. Mm. They're absolutely magnificent to look at. So I'm going to colour him in and I think he might have maybe a bit of grey on the top or a bit of brown. I'm not entirely sure. So we're going to improvise there. So this is a this type of bird is called a wren. Can you stretch it out slowly for me? R -e -n. So there's three sounds in that word. We're going to use that diagram for the first sound. Eh, so that'll be an E. And then N. Ren. Perfect. What do you think, Mrs. Bella? I you think that job? is fabulous, definitely. You've done an amazing job. Now, I forgot to do one thing. What was that? Well, I did forgot you get to... to get the activity. I did. It's on my table. I'm going to run over and grab it. All right, let's have a bit of a close up. Let's have a bit of a close up and look at these beautiful drawings. Look at that lovely wrist. And there's a wrap that I want to have for my lunch. Oh, there's a wrinkled Mrs. Ballard. Look Ooh. at those worry lines at the top there. <laughs> I'm going to move this one over. Pop this on here. Here's a sneaky peek about tomorrow's lesson. When we look at the thrust chart, you can see the thrust picture. So it's that word that we talked about on your hand. It's your wrist, your wrist bone. Okay, here. I might come in for a close up for this I one. I think you should. Now, this one's tricky. There's lots of tricky words in here. Some will begin with a word. Some will begin with a er, and some will begin with a er, but using the WR diagram. So you've got it written up here to remind you of what you're looking for. If that word doesn't have it, so let's look at this one right. Does that have WR? Oh, yes, yes it we does. Can underline it. What about read? Ba -bow, ba -bow. What about wrestle? Can you see it? Does that match? Yes. What about ring? So that means to wring out some, you might have face washer in the bath and at the end of the bath, you wring out all the water so it doesn't drip everywhere. It's a different type of word, that one. Oh, what about this one here? Whistle. Ooh, that's a trickster one. It really is. We'll learn about that one a little bit later. And wet, just a W. We can get rid of that one too. Now this also says ring. Oh, it sounds just like that one. Mm. We can keep this one, but can we keep this one? No. Now, a wrench, you might use this if you're helping mum and dad at home. They might be tightening some bolts. Has it got that WR? Have a look. Yes, keep that one. And this is winter. Woo, we're right in this right now, and that pretty much sums up what it's been like. And do we need it? No, it's just got the worth. Oh, Mrs. Ballard, that was <gasps> wrong of me to say you were so wrinkled. Oh, I know. I, I knew you were wrong. Two wrongs don't make a right, right. do they? <laughs> <laughs> and this one is a picture of a queue, and in the queue you have to wait. Do we need what? Do we need that one? No. Nope. Nope. Okay, and this one. Whoa, look, it's our thrust picture, and we've got it up here. That's the special one. Wrist. Yes, we absolutely need that one. So preps, I'm not going to explain how to cut it out. You know the golden rule. You mm. need to cut the borders out. We Just... all know that, Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your thumbs on top and thumbs on top with your scissors. Cut out the ones that you need and then stick them onto your special page and you can stick that into your exercise book. Good luck, preps.